I, I have, the book is so important to me. I have a copy out here. I have another copy over there. I have a copy in the um, <laughs> in the house. I have another copy upstairs in the house. I have PDF copies on all of my digital equipment. He divided his book into three parts. Uh, the first two parts are set up for part number three. Part number three is the application of the theory of uh, his natural philosophy, which is basically the theory of everything, a description of the ether. Um, and, uh, it, and how it attaches to materials. And so within that part three is just a treasure trove. I mean, probably, I don't know, maybe a million patents will come out of people that, that read those three parts and concentrate on part three in the application of the materials because the thinking is so key. Also note that there have only been two, ever, only two uh, basic theories of universe, the ether or atoms. There's only been two theories ever promoted, uh, ether, the ether, and uh, what we now think of as quantum mechanics or general uh, slash special rel relativity. These are the only two uh, uh, descriptions of our physical reality here in the Materium that have ever been proffered. The fact that I deal with one, which is uh, typified by uh, Boscovich here in uh, his theory of natural philosophy, printed in 1763, uh, and everybody says, oh, well, that's like almost Middle Ages. The fact of the matter is that it's actually Boscovich and the, the, is an interesting fellow, okay? He was Jesuit, he was at the top of the Jesuit college, he was the top Jesuit physicist of the time. But what people don't understand is Jesuits were the, um, the holdovers, the last remnant of the Byzantine Empire. So Boscovich is actually the result of over a thousand, almost 1,200 years, no, no, over that, about, because he, the Byzantine Empire ended uh, about uh, 200 years before he uh, published this. And so, uh, so we're looking at about 13 or 1,400 years of thought about these issues that went into Boscovich's theory of uh, natural philosophy, which really is uh, could be redescribed as a description of the ether and the things in it. Um, now, I've already gotten a couple of provisional patents as a result of reading this, and there's dozens more just piling out of my head every time I get into even a couple of new paragraphs of this book. Um, so uh, I'm not unique. There's others that are that are going through this and deriving. Uh, interesting applications that are practical and can be patented and produced and used. Again, let me hold up um, The Theory of Natural Philosophy by uh, Roger Josephus Boscovich, really uh, Ruggiero, um, uh, is it Giancarlo or Giuseppe, I can't remember, uh, Boscovich, because he had an Italian name. He's, he's on the border between Serbia and Italy at the time in the 1700s. Uh, he, he worked off of first principles, and, and he took all the way back and he describes the ether from which we get the field, from which we get stars, planets, universe, etc. It's all within the field which derives from the ether, and he explains it all to you. It's a very valuable book. Uh, if you wanted to, you could pursue it like myself and get patents uh, and useful devices and um, uh, intellectual breakthroughs from it. But it's also a very good example of absolute step by step by step uh, conclusions from first principles thinking. By virtue of the folding that I had done with the magnetic fields from some, this is my coffee stained version obviously, um, from some stuff that I had learned in part three of this book. I, I have, the book is so important to me, I have a copy out here, I have another copy over there, I have a copy in the, um, <laughs> in the house, I have another copy upstairs in the house, I have PDF copies on all of my uh, digital equipment. Let's put it down here. Less likely to be coffee stained. Okay, so this is the new large, large edition of Boscovich's Theory of Natural Philosophy. And it's readable at, uh, you can take it outside and read it. The font size is decent enough. I could almost probably read it off of the screen there. Um, and, and plenty of room for notes. Uh, so, so it's a, a good deal, right? Also, um, I, I was outside reading it the other day, and it dawned on me that it's big enough uh, to take outside and you could read this without glasses in sunlight uh, while you're out sunning your balls. And uh, then if someone, a normie, comes along seeing you sun your balls, it's big enough to cover. <laughs> and then if they give you shit about it, it's big enough to take care of that too. <laughs> 
Anyway though, so Boscovich goes into great detail about how the etheric, um, uh, how the field emerges out of the ether and the materium emerges out of the, the field. Anything in reality, the air molecules, so to speak, all of this is being held together by this magnetism. If we get into Boscovich here, um, you'll read in here all different kinds of descriptions of how reality is held together. And uh, it's quite fascinating. It's in, you can get lots of information out of it and get, get huge amounts of uh, insight. I, I have, the book is so important to me. I have a copy out here. I have another copy over there. I have a copy in the, um, <laughs> in the house. I have another copy upstairs in the house. I have PDF copies on all of my uh, digital equipment. Boscovich. Bo